Anyways! Hello, everyone. Tovin here again. Today I'm going to be talking about random modulators again. Because the last video I did about it was uh, 20 minutes long or something like that. And today I'm going to be, well, teaching you the same exact thing, but in a much more simplified way, both within and outside of Patcher. So the first way I'm going to be showing you guys is the method that is outside of Patcher. So let's say we have a thing. So let's say we want to modulate the cutoff of that high pass. We're going to insert a peak controller and choose the randomness preset and then go to the EQ and uh, modulate the parameter that you want to modulate with the peak controller's LFO. It's now modulating it randomly, but it's very steppy as you can see. So all you have to do really is to just uh, enable smoothing in here and then crank it all the way up. Now, as you can see, it's smooth. And not only that, but you get like additional things here that you can do with the modulation. Let's say you want to invert it, you can. Now it's inverted and by increasing the speed, you're going to get a lot more smoother result because like it's noise, it's basically smoothed noise. And that's how you do it outside of patcher. Now the within patcher method. In this scenario, you'll need a P controller and an XYZ controller. So same deal. I'm going to go ahead and select the randomness preset for the P controller. Output its LFO and enable the XYZ of the XYZ controllers, both inputs and outputs, link the LFO to this XYZ controller. And now, again, same deal, I'm going to use a high pass as, as an example, activate the cutoff, and now link the cutoff to X, for example. And now in here, it's doing the thing. Already it's smoother because of the global speed being at 50% uh, by default. Crank it, it's smooth. And honestly, this is enough random modulation. Like you can do basic things from here, like say invert or, or whatever really. And all you had to load was a peak controller and one XYZ controller. So if you want more random modulators, all you have to do is to duplicate these two. So yeah, again, this was a very simplified version of this video, which I basically show you how to get more interesting random modulator modulation. But this is more of a how to get a basic random modulator that is smooth and that can just do stuff. Support me by liking this video and also consider subscribing to my channel if you really feel like it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.